Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Death card and the King of Cups, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Energies for your person, the Two of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers and the Knight of Pentacles. Between you and your person we have the Three of Swords. Meeting energies, the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, the Queen of Cups and the Sun, the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Cups, the Oracle Cards, Truth Be Told and Unfinished Symphony. Guys, this set of energies can describe some of you that are contemplating the opportunity to end a connection and leave behind a romantic partner because the situation between the two of you kind of feels incomplete and there can be an harsh truth that can be said. We didn't get energies about communication. I feel that there is going to be a major conversation between you and your person because things can change for this connection your person may still want to work things out with you. They got the Queen of Pentacles, they got the Knight of Pentacles, which can be a big offer that can work as a last attempt to save an important connection, yes, because of the lovers, but at the same time, a situation that maybe from your perspective has been falling short for a meaningful amount of time. I feel that your person of interest has had commitment issues in this connection because for me the Knight of Pentacles energy can become the one of the offer that never comes because the Knight is the slowest of the four. Your person can try to say that the two of you are amazing together and maybe you were, especially if we follow the lovers. They know that the connection is at a crossroads but because of the Death card, because of the Three of Swords, and because of the Eight of Cups, I feel that there is a change that is coming up and you can be in charge of that change. Because it seems that you can re-evaluate your expectations about the connection because of the Three of Wands that we got in the meeting of the energies. I feel that your person can be the king of cups and they can be swept away by your uh, decision to end the connection. Death card, revolutionary change. A situation as it was can be completely different moving forward. You can be the queen of cups together with the sun. It's all about realizing what our heart wants. And it seems that some of you can look in a different direction, three of wands in order to find a different type of satisfaction, the Nine of Cups. But in order to do that, you may have to leave this situation behind, Eight of Cups. And the Queen of Wands, guys, can be about two things. It is true that the passionate side of the connection maybe was powerful, but some of you can be intuitively guided if we follow the Black Cat in the card, the best friend of the Queen. You can be intuitively guided towards a realization that can be about the fact that this connection without the physical side, the sexual side, is not really the situation that can amplify your inner happiness. So we were amazing together, yes, but maybe the connection has already reached a ceiling and some of you may want to hit the road. Your person is not going to like that, guys. If this is going to be your decision, they can say that you are breaking their heart if we follow the Three of Swords. I guess that it is a matter of perspectives. What should you focus on in a situation like this one? I just want to say another thing. If we want to flip the energies, so if you are the King of Cups, you can keep feelings and emotions under the surface of the water. It's like you have run out of love for your person of interest. And if they are the Queen of Cups, they can say that they still love you. However, we want to look at the situation. It seems that someone can go away. Hermit energy. The word. 
meaningful because it plays a role in the two of ones. Page of Pentacles, recurrent energy, and the Page of Wands. The passionate side of the connection is not enough to save the situation. The Page of Pentacles, from your perspective, can be a due diligence. It's like you have been doing your homework about the connection and you may truly come to a conclusion that can be extremely different from what your person can think about the situation with you. They love it. But if there were commitment issues, I think that they played a role against this connection and maybe some of you are tired of waiting. The Hermit is an energy about singlehood, guys. It can be what can follow the word if we think about a closing point, the end of a cycle, or the fact that you have already gone within in order to figure out this connection at the 100% and the consequence is the truth be told oracle card. It's like an ugly truth has to come out in order for different satisfactions to come in moving forward, but there is going to be a price to pay in a situation like this one. So what's the obstacle? Let's see what we can get. We have the justice. A right and fair decision that follows a right and fair evaluation. Eight of swords, feeling stuck in the obstacles. Some of you maybe have felt in this way you do not want to experience that feeling anymore. This can be a catalyst for a difficult but necessary decision. Queen of Wands, we got the energy three times in the obstacles. It seems that some of you want out, guys, and the fact that you were kind of good with this person, if we think about the physical and sexual side of the connection, is not enough to convince you guys to stay in this situation. Knight of Cups. It can be a love offer, it can be a romantic gesture. I want to say that some of you can get it because your person doesn't want to lose the connection. They can say that they are still in love with you. But the Knight of Cups, because of the Eight of Cups, for me, can follow the Cranberry's song promises. She's going to leave him over, she's going to take her love away. And I feel that we are talking about that. Not an easy decision, not an easy decision, but it seems almost inevitable. I mean, the unfinished symphony is a number 10. We can think about the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you have been thinking about the death energy as a transformation for a while now. We are coming, guys. The world can be just a matter of time and you can hand over the word to your person so they can receive it. The crossroads that we see in the Two of Wands, which by the way is reinforced by the lover's crossroads, may not smile in favor of your personal interest. Let's ask for guidance about this situation. We have the Six of Wands, someone that wants to move on, the warrior that comes back from the battle victorious. It seems that some of you want to find a different situation. This connection may have expired this course, guys. Magician, taking action because there can be a vision, a different vision that we can say. The vision is not in common anymore between the two of you. Your person can try to say that the two of you can still be successful together. Um, they can even try to bring to you a new Ace of Pentacles agreement. They want to work things out because of the Queen of Pentacles. You may be of a different opinion. This is the point. Sun energy. Some of you have already achieved all the clarity that you need about this connection and the Eight of Cups seems to be the strategy, the exit strategy. Some of you can be convinced that this is the right and fair decision for you. The word is your willingness basically to end 
a chapter of the journey in order to begin a new one elsewhere, I feel that your person is not going to like what can happen next, but they will have to face it, two of swords. This is a different posture compared with the two of wands, guys. Your person can try to say that there is still space for the two of you to work things out. But if there were commitment issues, you may not feel the same. So you can close yourself in front of the opportunity to stay in the connection. There is the moon in the background, which is in contrast with the sun. I want to say that some of you do not consider this connection as a source of satisfaction anymore. You can think something like, this is not the situation for me. And so I want out. I think that you will get the chance to leave the connection behind because if we do not feel it, we cannot fake it, if you ask me. And it seems that some of you have already checked out emotionally from the connection. Maybe your person was not paying attention, but now it seems that they will get a verdict that they are not going to like. And the conversation can be quite essential, I want to say, almost cold and detached. So you may have to be mindful of that. Maybe choose wisely your words in order to convey a message that your person is not going to like. They will have to swallow a bitter pill, guys, because it seems that some of you are about to put a closing point on this unfinished symphony. But when the new song begins, you are not going to be by your person of interest side anymore. And they will have to deal with that. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.